Welcome to Wildcat Football Weekly, presented by Vantage West Credit Union, offering Wildcat fans a wide array of personal and business banking products. More opportunity, personalized service. Vantage West, federally insured by NCUA. Welcome to another edition of Wildcat Football Weekly, presented by Vantage West Credit Union. Head coach Rich Rodriguez joining us as we get set for the Pac-12 championship game Friday night in Santa Clara. Before we get to that, Coach, congratulations. Territorial Cup uh, back to Tucson. You've done so many things in three years. Can you check that one off your list now and say, hey, this, yeah. this is what this we, is a big we, one? We had to check off that win against ASU because yeah. we'd really struggled the last couple of times. But that was good. But getting in a championship game was a goal. And, you know, here we are having an extra week of practice, an extra week, an extra game for our fans, for our team. And got a chance to with a lot at stake here Friday afternoon, Friday evening. All right. There, there's a lot of mantras, a lot of sayings around your program. But one of them is on to the next one. And is that something that you can use with the guys this week where – Really, the schedule works out like, okay, we got seven days. It's time to play another game. Yeah, we've had six straight games, now seven straight games. And, and we'll talk all week about keeping the main thing the main thing, which is just focusing on what we can control, our practice, our meetings, our preparation, and then going up there and playing for 60 minutes and look up the scoreboard and see what happens. In that first game against Oregon, your team ran the ball very effectively in that contest. When you look back at it, was was that one of the big keys offensively? Without question, be able to get first downs and keeping their offense off the field. They still move the ball, and they're going to move the ball. They're too explosive offensively not to, but we've got to be able to play a clean game on offense, get some first downs, be able to run the football a little bit, and keep Mariota and the rest of those really good players on the sidelines. Also, five sacks in that ball game, if I remember right, for your defense and trying to, I don't want to say mess with Mariota, but trying to keep him off balance. How big can that be? Well, we got to put pressure on him because he's, he's so good. You give any good quarterback time, he's going to pick you apart. The thing that's dangerous about Marcus is that he'll take off and run. So you got to be able to close those seams when you're pass rushing. You just can't run wide off the edges and just give them all kinds of lanes to run. So it's a, it's a, it's a tough task for our guys, and they may able to do pretty well the last couple of times, but they still move the football on us. But the biggest key is just to keep playing and then hope that they'll make a mistake before they get in the end zone. Tell us a little bit about your senior class. This has been, for the most part, a group that were, was here when you arrived, and the fact that you know they have. Uh, they have put their arms around you and your staff and have been leaders now for the last four years. How important has that been? They've really bought in, and they bought in like the last two senior classes. And it's it's an interesting group. You know, most of them, as you said, have been here four or five years, but a couple have been here two years, a couple have been here one year. But to a man, they've all uh, helped the transition as far as a new staff, new system, a new way of doing things uh, with great leadership and kind of a quiet leadership. There's not a lot of rah-rah guys in this group, but they come to play and they love to compete. And I think if you ask them, you know, they wanted this, you know, and they've worked hard for this opportunity and they've earned it. Where does Jared Tevis fit into that group? Oh, without question. You know, he's not only a captain, I think he's been a great example for all of our guys, from guys that are walk-ons that earn a scholarship like Jared did to guys that keep playing like they want to prove themselves every week. And that's the thing is, that's so good about Jared. He's still play, playing like he's a walk-on trying to earn a scholarship, and I think that's why he's such a good player. All right. Good luck Friday. Thanks, Brian. Look Appreciate forward it. to it. All right, and speaking of Jared Tevis, we're going to sit down with him when uh, Wildcat Football Weekly continues right after this. West Credit Union as we support Rich Rodriguez on his quest to bring home a championship. Follow the coach at vantagewest.org slash blueprint. Wildcat Football Weekly continues presented by Vantage West Credit Union. We're joined by senior safety Jared Tevis. Jared, congratulations first of all on the Territorial Cup victory. I know that's a special <clears throat> game every year for you guys and it had to be very satisfying to walk off the field with that cup. Oh man, it was a it was a blast uh, Friday Friday, um, bring that territorial cup back home. Man, there's a there's no other feeling like it. So I'm excited we brought that back to Tucson. There's always games that bring a lot of emotion out. Is that obviously the biggest one of the year beforehand and during? 
Yeah, you know, every every game counts. You know, we try to approach every game the same, but uh, definitely ASU week we have a, a little extra emotion, and especially with that being our, our senior day. Um, you know, there's a lot of motion going out there on that field, um, but you know, we just had to, to stay disciplined and uh, do our assignments and, uh, you know, just use that emotion to, to play our best. Seven sacks, you guys seem to be <clears throat> in the backfield almost all day long. What were some of the keys for the defense to disrupt their offense? Uh, we were trying to get after Taylor Kelly, man, and, uh, you know, put some pressure on him and, uh, you know, trying to make him, uh, you know, make some bad decisions. And, you know, ASU loves to blitz on, on defense, uh, so we, we want to give them a little bit of their own medicine. So, on, uh, yeah, those third downs, we we're trying to bring some pressure. All right, now you move on to the Pac-12 championship <clears throat> game. When did that sink in? When did you know that you'd be playing again a week later? Man, it probably didn't even sink in till, till yesterday. I heard it right after the game that uh, the UCLA uh, ended up losing and we were Pac-12 South champs and I, uh, you know, didn't quite settle in. But, um, you know, it definitely has now. You know, we're getting ready for Oregon and, uh, you know, we're, we're trying to take advantage of this huge opportunity for us. All right, beat Oregon earlier in Eugene. <clears throat> Big game, played extremely well. What are some of the things that you can take away from that game that you hope to use this week? Um, you know, they're going to be coming at us, uh, giving their, us their best shot, you know, uh, especially after, uh, you know, beating them uh, earlier in the year. And, you know, it's tough to beat a, a good team twice, but, uh, you know, it's far from impossible. So, uh, you know, we just have to go out there the same way we've been approaching every game with, uh, you know, the same focus and, uh, you know, determination and, and poise. And, you know, I think if we do that, you know, we, sh we should be all right. Focus when you play Oregon from a defensive <clears throat> angle is always Marcus Mariota, one of the top quarterbacks in the country. Are there things that, uh, that he does that you have to do in tr order to contain him? Or how do you defend a guy like that? Yeah, you know, uh, we have to do our best to contain him. Um, you know, we have to account, make sure we're accounting for him on, you know, all the read, read zone and, and uh, you know, all those plays. And then, uh, you know, on third downs, you know, we have to have a have a spy for him and, you know, make sure uh, he can't get out of the pocket and, and scramble and, you know, uh, use his feet. So, you know, we just got to – he's a great player, so we have to do our best to, to contain him and, uh, you know, and, and just eliminate the big plays. Have you had a chance, I mentioned, let it sink in your playing <clears throat> in the game. How about sink in the fact that you've got a 10-2 and two football team right now with two more games to play? Man, it's uh, it's incredible. It's it's starting to sink in, man. I'm just proud of the senior class, and you know, I'm just so blessed and and grateful to be in the position we're in. Um, you know, I've just seen us grow so far over, you know, the last four and a half years, and uh, you know, I'm just blessed to be a part of it. But uh, at the same time, you know, we're not satisfied, and you know, there's uh, a lot more to achieve, and so you know, we're we're excited about it. Uh, look forward to it. Our thanks to Jared Tevis, U of A senior safety, the Wildcats and the Ducks, Pac-12 championship game. On Friday night in Santa Clara, they'll kick off at 7 o'clock Mountain Time. Thanks for watching Wildcat Football Weekly, presented by Vantage West Credit Union. Visit VantageWest.org to learn how you can get more personalized service, federally insured by NCUA.